Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this video, we will try to make you understand whether to choose the C programming as the first programming language to learn. And we will also try to provide you the resources where you can learn the complete C programming courses in a detailed way, in a detailed manner, and you can get those resources for free. Yes, the complete C programming language for free. How to get that resource that we will try to make you understand in this video. Do you want to become a software engineer and do you want to get placed in a big giant companies like Amazon and Google and you want to uh, do you want to become a good programmer and you are thinking that whether to choose the C programming as the first programming language and do you think that uh, learning the C programming is waste of time because most of the uh, uh, programming most of the big companies are asking you to get expertise in Python and Java so why should I learn C programming? So it is. Of, uh, so do you think that learning the C programming is waste of time? So these are all the doubts that you have, and you want to. Uh, you you were not able to make the choice whether to choose the C programming as the first programming language to learn. So we are going to clarify all those doubts in this video. So is it worth learning C programming as the first programming language? Yes, it is uh, highly recommended for you to learn C programming because why? What are the reasons? The reasons are the first very important point that, that we are going to get from the C programming language is C makes you think. What does that mean? For example, if you choose the Python as your first programming language or if you choose Java as the first programming language, in those programming languages, you are provided with predefined functions, lots of lots of APIs, application programming interfaces. You will be provided with lots of predefined methods. Just by calling those methods, you, your work will be done in a very easiest way. But if you want to do the same program, if you want to do the same work in C, you have to write lots of lots of lots of lines of code. So what, what happens here is if you want to be a programmer, if you want to be a master any programming language or if you want to be a master in computer science, all you need to do is practice. So that happens with C programming language. So C makes you think. C will bring you the ability to think and ability to write the programs efficiently because the, the APIs, the predefined functions, the predefined methods that are available in C are very limited. The predefined functions are only limited to access the resources, but to write the program, to write the data structures, to know how the memory will get allocated for variables in on the memory. So that the, all those concepts you can learn efficiently in C with that feel of feel of how the things will get how how to access the resources of a computer. You can be a better programmer. So that is one of the very important point that uh, helps you learn uh, while learning the C programming is it will make you think. The next very important point is an opportunity to interact with hardware. If you write the programs in C, you can directly access the resources of the computer. So the hardware of the computer like memory. In C, we have the concept, we have the concepts like pointers. Pointers are, is the concept by which you can access the resources, the, the memory resources of the computer directly. Okay, so that is one of the biggest advantage in learning C. So with that, you will know that how the things will get interacted with the memory. So that, that interaction has to be provided being the, uh, by the C programmer. Being the programmer who is writing the program, we have to provide, we, have, we will have the opportunity to interact with hardware. So that, that interaction with the hardware is directly provided in the C programming language. Most of the embedded softwares, embedded software means, so the 
uh, the softwares that are available on the washing machine so uh, if you on the click of the button some certain kind of work is done so those programming language th those uh, interactions with the memory and the operating most of the operating systems run by using C programming okay so that interaction with the hardware you will get an opportunity to interact with hardware and the next very important point is help you understand memory management so what does that mean in python java so the uh, the memory which is not used will be uh, collected by the uh, by those programming languages and it will be cleaned by those programming languages so uh, technically you may not be able to understand for example if you are writing a program and in that program the memory that that is not used that is not used is collected by the garbage collections so that the job is automatically done by those programming languages but in c all the memory has to be managed by the by the programmer so how that management is done how the memory has to be allocated and what amount of memory has to be allocated and when to free that memory for the better utilization of the space when to free that memory if you are not using the memory further you can free that memory okay that facility of directly interacting with the hardware is there in the c programming so with this amount of lot uh, amount of uh, uh, knowledge that you have with the uh, 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 with the hardware and in the programs you can make uh, c makes you a better programmer so if you are master in c programming the very important point is if you are master in c programming you can learn any programming uh, uh, learning any program any other programming language is just a cake walk it is very simple for you to learn any other programming uh, any other programming language if you are a master in c programming okay so now how to learn the c programming so is that uh, do we have any resources that are available to learn the c programming yes in the learning monkey on our platform we have the complete course of c programming available for free so let's try to know how to access those c programming so go to youtube and search for learning monkey so just type learning monkey here and search for learning monkey so this you are going to get this channel so we are going to get you are going to get this channel learning monkey channel and here we are having at this point of time uh, at this point of time we are having nearly 1234 videos on our platform and all that content is full course content and all the content is freely available now to get the c programming language for free so just click on click on learning monkey and on this channel go to playlist so here we are having all the playlists that are available uh, that are available and all these playlists are freely available and they are free full courses we are not going to ask you for single penny uh, so we are not going to tease you with the bits of knowledge and later we are going to uh, we are not going to ask you to register for full course so all these courses are free and you can learn it anywhere and at any time okay so here uh, search for C programming see here we are having 112 videos in C programming so all this content is freely available so just click on this you will be redirected to postgraduate program in artificial intelligence and machine learning okay so you will be redirected to the playlist and here you will be provided with all the so the list the arrangement of these videos is very well done so that so you can learn the concepts very clearly and uh, the course is designed in such a way so that you will you will have the visualization of how the resources of the computer will be and how the things how the things will happen while executing the program so very clearly explained so take uh, uh, you can get this course for free so here we are having 112 videos videos of content and uh, so it is nearly around uh, uh, 30 to uh, 25 to 30 hours of content and all this content is freely available if you want to be a master in programming if you want to get placed in big tech giants like amazon google twitter uh, so these product development companies 
you should be a master in C programming. Then learning any high level programming languages like Python, Java is just a cakewalk. It is very simple for you to understand uh, uh, the advanced programming languages like Python or Java. Okay, so you should learn. So the uh, you should learn the C programming, and learning the C programming is not waste of time. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.